Hey everyone, my name is Mr. Julius and welcome to another quick stream tip video. And today's video, I again want to look at a plugin for OBS made by Exeldro, a fellow Dutchman who makes a lot of awesome and very convenient OBS plugins. And the plugin that I want to look at today is called the Time Warp Scan. Now, if you are a fan of TikTok, you are probably familiar with the Time Warp effect where you have a line going over your screen that will freeze everything above the line and you can make a lot of fun and interesting effects with that. Now, Exeldro made that very same effect and he added that into an OBS plugin and I'm going to show you how you can install it and how you can set it up so you can add this fun effect to your streams as well. Now, as always, if this seems like something that you are interested in, please don't forget to leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and ring the bell so you get a notification whenever a new video goes up on the channel. And without further ado, let's not freeze the time right here. Let's keep it going and roll the intro so I can show you how to set this up. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is we want to go ahead to the OBS website where you can download the Time Warp plugin. So here you have it. You can already see the effect that you're going to get when you install this plugin to OBS. So go ahead, click the download button, choose the version of your platform, either Windows, macOS, or Linux, and then go ahead and install that plugin to your OBS installation. Now, if you don't know how to install plugins, I've made a separate video on that topic. So pause this video and then go ahead and watch that if you're not familiar with installing plugins. And then after that, come back here so you can install it yourself and we can jump into OBS and I can show you how to set it up on your stream. Okay, so we are here in OBS and as you can see, I got a separate webcam set up and I'm actually going to use the effect on this particular webcam. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to go ahead to your webcam source. You want to click filters and then you want to add a new filter. And when you do that, you will see that the time warp scan is actually available and you can add that as a filter. So let's do that. Give it a name. And then already you can see that the time warp scan is done and grow and you can see the effect is already happening. Basically, this is all that you have to do in order for the effect to set up. However, of course, there are a few things that we can do to make this more interesting. So let's have a look at all the options that we have. So first of all, we have the scan duration. That's going to be the time that it takes from the bar to go from the top to the, of the screen all the way to the bottom. So currently, it's set to 10,000 milliseconds, which is the same as 10 seconds. So of course, you can make that go faster or you can make it slower, however you want. Next up is the line width, which currently is set to 3 pixels. That is going to be the width of the line that you see going over your screen. Again, you can make this either thicker or smaller, depending on your preferences. Then the line color speaks for itself. You can change the color of the line going over your screen here. Line opacity, if you want to change the opacity of the line, make it maybe a little bit more transparent so you can see the background a little bit better. You can change that here. And then rotation, that's also a very interesting one because by default, the line goes from the top of the screen to the bottom of your screen. However, if you want to change it and make it go from the sides, you can set this to, for instance, 90 degrees. And now when you play it, you will see that it starts at the right side of the screen and it will actually go to the left side. I can actually make a fun effect with that as well, depending on how you move. So that's what you do with the line rotation. And lastly, you can set here a background image. If you're using a green screen and therefore the background of your webcam is invisible, you can set an image here that will actually appear whenever the line moves over your screen. And that's basically it. That's the only thing that you have to do. Now, of course, there's a lot of fun things that you can use this with. For instance, you can set this as a channel point redemption in combination with an app like Leon board. And the only thing that you have to do is go into Leon board, set your variables, and then make sure that Leon board actually activates this filter and then deactivates it after a certain amount of time. So you can actually go back to your normal webcam. But of course, there's a lot of other different fun things that you can do with a filter like this. So I invest you to go ahead, try it out and play with it for a little bit. And if you come up with something fun, I'd love to see what you've created for yourself. So there you have it, another fun thing that you can add to your streams to make it a little bit more interactive and maybe fun for your viewers to watch. Now, of course, with this time warp effect, there's so many fun things that you can do. Now, I just played around with my head, moving it a little bit, but you can be a lot more creative by using different objects or positioning your head in a certain way to make it look very fun. I suggest go ahead, play with this for a little bit and see what works for your stream setup. Now, as always, if you have any questions about this video or any of the other videos that I've made, or you just want to hang out with me outside of these videos, you can find me over on Twitch. I stream every Monday, Wednesday and Friday, which you can find the link in the description down below. Or if you have any questions, you can jump into our Discord where we have a dedicated channel specifically for these quick stream tip videos so if you need any help or assistance with setting something up you can always ask it over there as well and last but not least you can also find me on twitter so if you have any questions or you just want to chat with me feel free to send me a message over there now the last thing that i want to say is that my name is mr delicious you guys are all extremely delicious as well thank you so much for watching and hopefully i will see you in the next video good luck take care and happy streaming oh is it hot in here i don't know but i feel my sweat breaking out everywhere my face, my neck, even my cheeks. My ass cheeks are kind of starting to sweat. I see it here on one side of the bed. Where's the seat? Ooh. Ooh. Don't you want to know? Hmm?